Namaste all, welcome back to the channel, I'm Yong. Um, in this video, I am going to talk about um, yoga and uh, I know it's such a big topic to talk about but I am talking about this uh, basically based on my own experience, what is yoga for me and what are the benefits that I have received uh, from practicing yoga for the for my last four and a half years so I have to make a claim that when I say I practice yoga I started it as like um, attending a yoga class a, in a commercial studio a yoga studio <laughs> uh, in Singapore it's such a big city so it's rather commercial uh, yoga classes but eventually from uh, the second years onwards I started to um, um, to understand um, and to practice other limbs of yoga which includes the pranayama which is the uh, breathing exercise uh, the meditation so I've been practicing uh, con um, continuously to meditate for my last two and a half years every day so as my pranayama my um, breathing exercise so I would uh, conclude whatever a my findings about yoga based on my uh, yoga practice so i hope this video will benefit you and give you some insights of uh, what is yoga we often um, heard from the yoga teachers or the gurus or uh, from youtube or from googles when we search what is yoga it comes with like uh, yoga is union uh, it's a union of your soul your body and your mind um, so well, I, I first got to know yoga is union after a year of practice, like I went to a yoga workshop and then I heard it from a yoga teacher. Um, um, and that time I could slowly relate it to my a year of practice. Like, oh, well, uh, what I practiced for the last one year is not about just stretching, but I could understand why the, the teacher instructed us to do some breathing exercise and always bring um, our attention inwards uh, bring ourselves to focus on the breath so it's all actually inner journey like inner exercise I would say um, and it's not only the posture of course the posture uh, matters <laughs> um, because asana or the posture is one of the limbs that we um, we understand from from yoga um, but what I want to tell or to convey here is that um, it is all right to to start the practice because yoga is very practical it's very little theory so you can start your practice first and then understand yoga uh, later on or relate it to um, uh, to yoga uh, based on what you what your own experiences and also you can also start to understand uh, the background of yoga and then you start the practice so both ways uh, bring same benefits for me uh, this is my opinion um, and another thing is um, the understanding of yoga for me it keeps changing throughout the four years and a half like when i started i was a, a total beginners yoga for me is just a stretching a workout exercise and then it turns to um, um, more inner practice because i started practicing uh, the pranayama and meditation and uh, i could uh, i i understood yoga in different ways um, and I know that there are so much to, to learn about yoga. And for me, uh, yoga is pretty much to connect um, myself within, so my body and my breath, my um, emotions inside. Um, and I, I could see clearer uh, of myself, my thoughts, my mind. <laughs> and uh, this is about it. Now I'm going to talk about uh, the benefits that I received from practicing yoga for uh, for the last four and a half years. I physically, uh, well, at first I was uh, stressing a lot on my physical because I have some health issues, like hunching backs, uh, and I have uh, scoliosis, at, uh, a slight scoliosis problem. 
uh, basically after I practice yoga for a year I found tremendous um, change and improvement for my uh, spine my health I went to see doctor lesser and lesser not so often anymore um, my stress level of course I think it relates to my stress level uh, because I was working in um, um, in an MMC with very high pressure um, then my spine problem although I have not um, gone for uh, a scanning or a checkup but basically I had no pain um, since the second year onwards from my yoga practice so it helps from the postures uh, um, and my and my breathing work as well so uh, apart from the physical one I think most of the people they will really focus on the physical one but the physical things will come very uh, soon after you practice for um, a constant practice for a year I would say so some of the people they want to have a, a physical appearance that they want I think this all can be achieved uh, by constant practice of yoga uh, of the postures and the breathing work uh, apart from that mentally um, from my meditation and the breathing work and of course from the postures because when you practice for the, the postures you focus so much on your own practice you actually train your mind to stay focused in one uh, practice on one thing so it helps uh, my work tremendously like I could uh, see things very clearly the problems the, the solutions the things the work that I need to do for that day um, I could put my full attention to one task this really uh, uh, makes, my, makes my day because uh, um, I only realized that um, after a, a year of practice like wow my, my, I could able to concentrate on my work my studies for so so well uh, and because uh, when we practice so much on a concentration meditation uh, so we can actually see what's happening inside clearer and that helps me to manage my emotion better and with that um, I became a happier person uh, I feel much contented because I know what is important and what is not and what is outer world uh, what is my inner world uh, and that gives me a lot of happiness uh, contentment for my uh, everyday uh, lives so I live happier life now so it's hard to explain to um, uh, people who do not start a practice and they want to uh, um, they get to ask me a lot of questions like why you have become much happier now uh, and when I told them that it's because of my practice and then they will be um, a, they will have a lot of questions why just by practicing the postures you could become a happy person uh, living a happy life a, so you have to get into the real practice of yoga uh, and then keep an open mind that when the teachers tell you what to do you just do it and then um, when it comes to a chance for you to learn deeper uh, into the dive, dive deeper into the yoga practice. Then you go in uh, into the depth, uh, into the deep practice, and then you get to experience things for yourself. As I said earlier, and I'm going to stress it one more time, uh, yoga is really about practice, and it's very very practical. So get to your mat and start the practice and then you experience things that you may experience it yourself only it may be a different experience with the others but definitely it's going to move you to a um to a to your inner uh, to your inner uh, inner journal <laughs> a lot of people will have a lot of um, reasons to start practicing yoga but the purposes of uh, each journey for me it, it may change it will change as well so um, for me it's important to keep an open mind that it's okay um, that 
our purpose to practice yoga change every day and then um, our understanding of uh, practicing yoga uh, change every day and that's all right uh, and then it's important to just kickstart your practice um, and understand yoga by your own <laughs> from your own practice all right um, that's about it for me uh, based on my ex uh, based on my own practice and my my own experience, uh, I hope you enjoy this video. And if you like uh, this content, I uh, I really hope that you consider to subscribe to my channel. Uh, and I am going to kickstart the ten days yoga program from uh, after this video. Uh, and it's about a ten days of. Um, um, uh, 20 minutes each uh, yoga practice session it's going to be a flow class uh, for all levels uh, from the beginner levels to uh, intermediate levels so I hope you kickstart your your journey with me uh, if you have questions do drop me any message uh, um, under this video uh, we can always uh, discuss about it all right now stay thank you so much